What's going? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy R.L. Knuckles, Entertainment Fiend here. Here with another <coughs> recap of the challenge thirty thirty. And I apologize for not giving it to you guys last week. I'm not. I think I believe I did say that that I probably won't be able to do a recap episode right away because I'm going to be on vacation. And so, yep, I was on vacation and friends were all using the TV, so I had to use the laptop, and after I used, used the laptop to watch the episode, I couldn't find like, a good place to record to record this, because, you know, I'll be making a little bit of noise, and no, none that probably would have uh, probably interrupted my recording, but, excuse me, hey, here I am with the recording, better late than ever, so, gotta be consist- consistent with this thing, I can't have, you know... Uh, excuse me, skip over an episode because I love these. I love doing this type of stuff. So it's gonna be a quick recap. So today's episode, we start off. You know, I wouldn't say necessarily start off, but like in this episode, we have you know Jemmy and Corey talking. <coughs> Jemmy took some year, some time off due to you know night passing away, and it's still. I still can't believe he's gone. I still can't believe him and DM are gone. I just. It just sucks here at Cena, and Jimmy and I definitely had something very special. I mean, they had their ups and downs, but in the end, you know, they were still look out for each other, so it's it was great to see that. And also, beginning of the episode, Jordan. Now, Jordan, I really do like Jordan. At times, he would annoy me, and I think, I think he really annoyed me in free ages, free ages when he, you know, he thought he ran the house, but... He was getting tired of how, you know, people don't clean up after themselves li- living in his house. And, you know, I, <coughs> excuse me, I agree with him. Like, I don't want, um, I don't want you to be living your crap everywhere. Just clean up. Especially when, you know, we're in this nice house. I don't know, y'all. At least have some decency to, you know, clean up. And now, I guess people, you know, got annoyed with that. So it's like, oh, Jordan, he's above everybody. But, you know, I feel as though maybe come from him, it's like, I think as though he always has to prove himself because, you know, he's, you know, handicapped. But, you know, <coughs> him being handicapped, he's still, he's still a great chance performer. Like, you know, I have big, big respect for him doing all this stuff with, you know, you can say, like, you know, one hand. But I, I still, he still finds a way you know, to compete. So I give Jordan all the credit in the world <coughs> doing that. So we get to the challenge. And so, excuse me, wow. Get to, get to the challenge and so I forgot the name of this challenge, what this challenge is called. But, basically I have to like pull the charging chest in the, like, there's like three different sections. Pull it up, pull it, dig a hole, put the charger under, chest, chest under it. Both your, both boy and girl have to climb under it. Then the second part is, put the charger chop on the top and use your fingers to slide through <coughs> to push the, uh, to push the uh, chest. Then the last thing is, Break the chest. Raise your flag and you win the challenge. Now, like I said, it's a boy girl, g- boy girl event. So since Jenna and Tony won the redemption challenge, they get to pick who was going to be teaming up with who. So <coughs> Johnny, Jenna picked Johnny. Tony picked Tony picked Tori, which you know she's been doing great and all, but I think the best girl, uh, the best girl I would have picked would have been um would have been um. Comrade, in my opinion, but, um, <coughs> sorry, man, I'm coughing a lot today, I don't know why, <laughs> excuse me, so then the next one, I don't know the exact order, but I'll just, I'm going out through the casting list, Ammo, Ammo was teamed up with, uh, Jemmy, you know, Jenna was gonna, you know, you know, have paybacks a bitch for, uh, Jemmy, so she's gonna have, you know, Jemmy, she ended up teamed up with the weakest guy in the house, so, let's see what she did that. Anissa was teamed up with Derek. Brittany, I believe she teamed up with... Who did Brittany team up with? Oh, man. <clears throat> so I'm looking up through down the list. Who did she team up with? I can't tell who she teamed up with. I can't... <clears throat> I, I think I forgot who she teamed up with. Because <laughs> I know Daria teamed up with Nicole. Camille teamed up with Leroy. Comrade teamed up with CT. <coughs> Going down the list there here. Um Hunter I believe teamed up with Marie. Jordan teamed up with Kayla. 
Like I said, Leroy teamed up with uh, Leroy teamed up with, uh, with uh, Carmaria. I mean, Camilla. I always get those. I always get those two C's confused. Nelson teamed, teamed up with with Veronica. Tony set those two up. So I guess he thought that Veronica was was a weakness for Nelson because you know Nelson and Tony, you know Nelson and Tony um had some issues back in the last challenge, but um I don't think that was a good move by Tony to have to have uh to have <coughs> excuse me, Veronica team up with um with Nelson. Now here's the thing: the first the first person from each sheet wins, and it's safe from you know. The double, say from elimination. Now the two bottom teams in each sheet were kind of be you know, going were kind of be down, up for the double cross elimination. So the first sheet um, was pretty much was all the big timers. The the that was um, Camarilla and CT. I believe Johnny and I believe Leroy and Camilla were like right behind them. Now the, <coughs> now the losers for that heat were Derek and. Derek and Anissa, Derek just couldn't fit his fingers through the tiny holes to move the chest. So I get, I get that. I, I mean, it's, that's tough. That's really tough. Like if your fingers are not fall, like, like short or skinny enough to make it through there, it was just would have been too, too difficult. I'm trying to think who else, who else lost in that heat? Well, I know for, for the lose from this, well, I know CT and CT and Carmen won the first heat. Nelson and Veronica won the second heat. But what's funny in the first heat, you know, everybody was just, just, just digging holes, digging holes, like helping each other. Hey, come climb, go through, go, go through this hole. Like it was pretty hectic in that one. But in the second heat, you see everybody climbing through, like digging a hole through the same exact, the same exact hole. And so Core being smart was just, you know. Just watch. Oh wait, no, no, wait. I think Corey was a Britney. Corey was a Britney. Yeah, Corey was a Britney. Yep, yeah. makes sense. Yeah, Corey was a Britney. He was just, you know, waiting and waiting. But what's what's crazy? What's crazy is that did he took he took Dario's and Nicole's treasure chest. And I'm thinking like, is that illegal? But <laughs> it worked out for them. They managed to finish the course. They didn't come in last because in this. Okay, now remember, second heat, Jemmy and Ammo and Nicole and Dario came in last. Whereas the first seat, it was, it was a uh, Anissa, Anissa and Derek and Tony and Tori. Those are your four teams that came in last in that, in that challenge. So they were never going to be up for elimination. Now, granted, <coughs> even if, even though those people are going straight to the elimination, people can still you know vote for the people that didn't win the that came in like second third anything that didn't come in last so they still have a you know a big target on their back so after the challenge is over they're all going out in the club kayla is flirting with uh jordan and from we know kayla has a boyfriend back at home so it doesn't look good for them so now this is part of big part of the episode we get to the uh get to the um bus where they're doing the rap challenge well not rap challenge they're just doing a rap off so Wait, so we see him. Well, hold on for a second. We see him. What the heck's going on right over here? So I might watch TV at the same time. I'm sorry, guys. This is only going on TV. So, anyways, so they're all doing a rap battle and stuff like that. And now, granted, this is just a fun rap battle. Like, if we were doing serious. Okay, no, no, I should get ahead of myself. So, Jordan says, raps to Jimmy. And she says, oh, you have Down syndrome. And it's like, oh, you know, when the bus gets all quiet, you know, it's something very serious. Now, like I said, this is a rap battle. This is a fun rap battle. Because, you know, if we were doing some real rap battle and stuff, yeah, say what you want. Say the most lowest thing. But this is, you know, a friendly rap battle. We're all joking aside. But, you know, Jordan says some really messed up thing. And now <clears throat> that got the whole house, like the, the whole house pissed. Well, all the girls pissed at him. Like, now nah, I love Anissa and love uh, Camilla, but they were just, you know, going over the tops. Like, um, Anissa said, you owe every girl an apology. Like, he didn't owe every girl an apology. And then Camilla was like, oh, you push me? You want to push me too? Like, no, they were just, they were just like over exaggerating. I think, you know, the alcohol in them just caused Miss Vanna to believe, oh, you know, Jordan hit me, Jordan pushed me. Like, 
false making false accusations and the only person that joined me to apologize was Jemmy. And here's what I liked. When it came out to, you know, to the, to the um, nominations between, like, the winners, first off, for all the guys, they're all saying, Jordan, for after what he did, we're going to go for Jordan. Now, for the um, girls, they were going to, um, who was, wait, 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 it was, it was, it was Marie, because Carl Marie was saying that, you know, for Marie to throw her friend under the bus, that means I can't trust her. Now, but Veronica would still say, hey, we'll still try to get, you know, Jenna and Kayla out of here, but, you know, I guess Carmaria wanted Maria due to the fact that, you know, she might just, you know, he, he might just, you know, screw them over in the end. So I get where Carmaria is coming from, but, I mean, maybe I would have tried to, you know, get that powerful team out the house, you know, but when can out to, you know, nominations, they all said Jordan, and Jordan did apologize, and Jamie said, I forgive him, I do. But he has to learn his lesson, which I completely agree with. And as for the woman, girls, they said Marie. So as now, we get to the double cross. Now for the um, guys, <coughs> Garrett gets a double cross. And he says, he um, says, um, ammo. And then Hunter says, man, that was a pussy ass move and stuff like that. And who is room for Hunter to talk, man? Bro, this is your, this is your second challenge. See, this is. What I'm kind of getting of all these young people think they be running something, they know everything about these challenges. Like, you're it's only your second one. You have you have no right to be saying what's a a punk move. I mean, y'all y'all want y'all, apparently y'all want the uh y'all want the um big guys out. So why don't you get into elimination then? And honestly, I think it was smart for Derek because he still has his somewhat alliance to take out, you know, Hunter, Nelson, and Corey. And also, I was watching the BuzzFeed recap too, and I love, I love BuzzFeed. These guys are, are freaking. Oh no, was it after Buzz TV? I really, I really like these guys. I really enjoyed their recap of the, um, of the challenge episodes. I watch them all the time, so I think it's really cool to have Derek on there. And you know, he was saying that I was talking to Dario and Tony, saying, "Hey, we promise we will say each other's names." So you know, and honestly, he even said he felt bad that. He might even want to nominate himself, but that thank guy he didn't because you never want to nominate yourself for an elimination. No matter what, no matter what the challenge is, you never, ever, ever, ever want to do that. So, you know, Derek did what he had to do to save himself. Like, it's all about yourself. We got to stop doing all of this, you know, this, oh man, let's do the power because Hunter was right the fact that, you know, let's send another strong person home. Now I would have now you know it would be interesting to see you know a big time another good player against um, Jordan but you know I I didn't want to I just honestly I just want to see Nelson Hunt Hunter and uh and Corey like learn their lesson man because like I said I do like Corey and all and all but you can't be like you can't be doing that uh that call out getting one of the champs I mean. You can't be saying that type of stuff, but hey, man, it is what it is. So then Anissa gets the double cross, and she says, you know, I had Jemmy's back. I'm cool with Nicole, so I'm going to send in Tori. And Tori is all mad about it. And no, no disrespect to Tori. And like I said, I do like Tori, but here's the thing. You are a rookie. You are going to have to earn your stripes. <laughs> it comes to a time when, you know, you're not, you're not going to be, like, given a free ride to the child. I'm... I'm sure she's a good competitor. I see her beating Marie. But, like I said, you have to earn your stripes. Come back. All right, come back for an easy, but don't be all in your feels. Like, everybody's all in their feels when they, you know, get to elimination. I, I still feel as though they, like, try to, they try to, uh, they try to, like, be, oh, man, why would you do that? I mean, it comes to, it comes to yourself first in these games. Like, I'm sorry, but people just need to stop complaining about that type of stuff. So the elimination was interesting. So basically, they have to get these five patches off their opponent's body, right? And now here in the challenge, it would make it harder. So they had to do it blindfolded. Now, everybody was cheering for Emma after what Jordan did. But I wanted Jordan to win. He learned his lesson. That doesn't, like, do I think he's a dick in real life? Most likely, no. He was on the um the After Bus podcast, too. So 
He's a really, really cool guy. Granted, he some of the things that I don't agree with, but in the end, is she, <coughs> she a jerk? No. So you learn this lesson, and you know, for the guys that feel so it's better to have Jordan come back because you need to. And I'm not sure if it's an alliance, but remember, Nelson, Corey, and Hunter, they're all trying to go after the big dogs. So, hey, let's take these guys out to show them, hey, you know, we are the big, we're all the big dogs, and this is, we are the big dogs, and this is what you get for going out the big dogs. You're going to get sent home. So, I was share for Jordan, and I don't really know Amber at all either. So, Jordan got the first patch, and then, you know, people were saying, oh, man, this could be an easy one. But then, Ammo takes wins the next three rounds, so he's up three to one. Everybody said, yo, oh man, this is, and we can pull up the upset here then. Then the next couple of rounds, Jordan kept winning one all the rounds straight to uh, finish off Ammo. And from, from, actually, from what I've been hearing, from what After Buzz said, apparently, is that Ammo was, you know, raped. Like, in the dark. So, apparently, this challenge brought back bad memories and that has to be rough for Emma. I am really really sorry they had to go through that and I'm pretty sure he didn't want to say that but like, hey you know in, in my, he, I guess in his, in his in his view it might make him seem like a punk but <clears throat> he still came out and you know was doing very well but at the end of the episode he fainted he needed water badly <clears throat> and it was definitely you know a scary situation so I'm happy that Jordan won Jordan learned his lesson, so I just want to see what happens in the next episode because they didn't, they didn't, um, <coughs> see, they didn't show Tori against Marie. So I'm still predicting Tori's gonna win this, but you know, it's blindfolded, so you don't know how it's gonna be. It's anybody's game. Because I mean, I was definitely seeing, I definitely saw Jordan winning, but you know, I was not expecting Amber to get the huge lead. So you know, anything can happen in these challenges. <coughs> but overall. I thought this was a very good episode, you know. We learned a lesson, you know. Jordan can't be talking about something with, for, with Down syndrome when you know you are handicapped yourself. And, he, and he's learned that. You know, when we have drinks in us, we know, we say things that we really regret. And I'm sure Jordan really, re really regret what he, what he said. And, you know, he learned this lesson. He won the challenge. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm glad that, you know, he didn't get eliminated. So he, they still need another big guy to take out, you know. Hunter and, and the crew, so <clears throat> we shall see what happens next episode, but let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win between Tori and Marie? You know, I already got Tori, but you know, after I've seen the challenge, I, I like what Tori's been doing, but like I said, I don't... It, Marie could win this. You never, ever, never, ever know. And also, um, I heard that, you know, there's going to be a new challenge in the fall. It's going to be Chance, um, all chance, the chance versus all stars, and I remember watching this at after, after Buzz. <coughs> they say, you know, there's a new challenge coming up, new rumor challenge, and it's official. Like, if you saw like the promo on MTV, that a new challenge is coming this fall, so I'm happy to see that. Now, I, I'm actually gonna do, gonna do a separate video talking about challenge versus all stars because apparently. There is a, there's the rumored list on there, and uh, we did see some of the people on there. So, as the time gets closer, they're gonna. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have the full cast on MTV. But I'm gonna go by from what this rumored list is, and and also from what I noticed that not everybody is a champ. From what I see on the list, you just have to be like you know an all star in the challenges, you know, to be there for a very very long time. So I'm excited. I'm I'm glad that we see like you know these new challenges come back like we don't have to wait for a, a challenge after another real season it's like a challenge and then bam because we see invasion of the champions they had no chance versus pros now people say it wasn't a real challenge to me but it was so enjoyable to watch then after chance versus pros we had not too long after uh challenge 30 30 and then i'm pretty sure this is gonna this 30 30 is gonna sometime end in the fall they were gonna have you know this new challenge so <coughs> I'm so happy, you know, MTV is being consistently consistent about these new challenge series on and on and on again. So I'm very happy for it. But like I said, let me know what you guys think about the let me know what you guys think about this episode in the video in the comment section below. I'm sorry for you know being late with this, but hey, very late than ever. And you know, some of the back from vacation, you will see a recap episode uh, tomorrow, right after 
right after the episode. And from what I know, it comes on at 10 now. That's That was always the normal time for the challenge show. So 10 o'clock, I mean, we have that wait an hour later, but you know, I am I, I ain't complaining about it, so it is what it is. So, like, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Everybody have a good night. Be safe, everybody. Take care.